In John Carpenter's science fiction classic, They Live, the main character discovers that aliens are manipulating the planet by concealing subliminal messages in the mass media, which can only be seen through special sunglasses. I'm the Dave Man, ask me if it's possible to recreate this effect. If you want to learn how to pull this effect off in Fillmore and 9, stick around. I'll show you how. Hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to be part of the conversation. The very first thing you need to do is to create the layers that you're going to work with. In this case, I started with a video with some signs in it that were green screened out. I showed how to create these chroma key features in my infinite zoom video, and if you want to learn how to do this, I'll put that link down below. Now I needed to insert the images into these street signs, so I started with this picture of a woman, I put it underneath the track my signs were in and stretched it out. Now in the upper track, if you double left click on that, in the upper left you'll notice that some options open up and under the video tab, scroll down to the chroma key option. Let's expand that and put a check in the box to activate it. Now it defaults to green, but you really want to use the eyedropper, bring it over and click in the green area to make sure that it's finding your specific green. Now you can see the image behind it showing through. If you lock your main footage down in your timeline, in the upper right, you can left click in the preview window and you can move that other layer around. Just stretch it out so it makes sense for what you're trying to do. Once you have that where you want it, you want to create an identical track, but this time with the text that's going to be revealed when your main character puts the sunglasses on. So in the upper left, let's bring down that exact same piece of footage, but let's put it into a track that's one above the main footage. Put this up in track three. Next in the upper left, let's open up the sample colors tab, and let's just bring down a color into track one. I'm going to use white. If I stretch that out all the way and put my playhead over this area, I'll need to do the exact same thing and activate the chroma key feature in the upper left for this footage as well. Now the reason we left this space in between the two tracks is we want to add some text. So let's go back to the upper left and let's click on the titles tab and bring down the default titles. Let's stretch that all the way out. And the reason we're using the default titles is it has no added motion or animation in it. If I double left click on that, it will open up my text options in the upper left. The first thing I'm going to do is change the text color to black so I can actually see it. Now in this case, I'm using three separate different signs and I wrote the word subscribe out. And all I did was leave some space in between so that it fit onto all of the screens. Feel free to play around with some of the compositing to make this not stick out so much. So if you were to click on the white color in the main track in the upper left under the compositing tab, you can dial that white back so it's not quite so bright. And it seems to blend into the overall scene a little better. Once you have all of this where you want it, let's bounce both pieces of this footage all together so that we have the entire thing in one video track. By bounce, I just mean we're going to export this at a high resolution and bitrate so that it doesn't lose any quality when I send it out and bring it back in. Once that's done, you just want to locate your footage and bring it back in. Let me get rid of everything else on the timeline for now. Bring your footage down into your timeline and then locate the spot where the two pieces of footage split, right about there. Let's get it right down to the frame, right there. And we will slice the footage in half at that point. Now I'll have two identical pieces of footage which are the exact same length and have the exact same motions going on in the video. One with the words in the sign and the other one with the image. Now there are two masks that I created to pull this effect off and I gotta tell you, these masks took a lot of time to create. I'm just gonna give you the masks that I'm using. You can download them for free by clicking on the links that I'll put down below afterwards. The reason I created two different masks is I needed one for the sunglasses to go up and I needed a second one for the sunglasses to come down. Let's start with the sunglasses going up or onto the person's face. Find a spot in your footage where you think you'd like the effect to occur and bring the mask down at that point. 
what you want to do is left click at the end of that first footage and drag it back so it ends at the same time as that mask. Now left click on that mask in your timeline and in the upper left, let's activate the chroma key feature for that mask. Let's use the color picker and choose the red. You can see that now allows the main footage to show through, but as the glasses come up, you'll see that that turns this entire thing into a green screen. I'm gonna delete this second piece of footage for the moment. And now let's export just the first section with the image of the woman inside of these signs. Now, the last thing I had done was to delete that second half of the footage, but I can undo that by hitting Control and the Z key on my keyboard, and it comes right back. Now, let me get rid of the first half of this footage and the mask overlay and import that bounce that I just created. I'm going to bring that down into my timeline into the second track and drag that other footage that I created with the words and the signs directly over below it. Now, I know these are two different links, but they both started at the exact same point, which means they should line up perfectly. If I scroll ahead to the end of the top track, you'll see that green screen start to come up. So once again, I'll need to left click on that upper track in my timeline, turn on that chroma key, and I'm going to use the color picker to go over and choose the exact color green that I used. Now you can see what happens. The top track is already masked, allowing the top to show through. And by removing the green as the sunglass transition overlay starts to move upward, it exposes the bottom track and the text below. Pretty cool, huh? If you want to learn more Filmora tips, tricks, and techniques, make sure you click on the links that are on screen now or the ones I'll pin down below. And don't forget to download these free masks. Peace.